Would you believe if I told you right now in Northern Virginia, there's a riverfront new construction community being built with stunning homes, resort style amenities, championship level golf course, plans for a future town center and VRE train station that overlooks the Potomac River. And the best part is homes in this community on average are less expensive compared to the region's average. And you're probably thinking to yourself right now, David, there's no way a community like this exists in Northern Virginia. Well, guess what? It 100% does. Because in this week's video, I'm gonna share with you five things that you must know before moving to Potomac Shores, Virginia. So sit back, relax, because we're getting started right now. Hey everybody, it's David, your favorite realtor, and welcome back to another video. So I'm super excited about this week's video. I've been planning to do a video on Potomac Shores since January of this year. I've been waiting for the weather to be perfect so I can get some fantastic drone footage for you. And this I can honestly say about Potomac Shores, it is hands down the most up and coming community, not just in Northern Virginia, but probably Virginia as a whole. So let's get this video started right now with the first thing that you must know about living in Potomac Shores, Virginia. And that's gonna be an overview of the Potomac Shores project. So Potomac Shores is a picturesque riverfront community nestled along two miles of Potomac River shoreline and is surrounded by natural woodlands. Also, the Potomac Shores project is the biggest new construction community in the whole state of Virginia. And you know, living on the water, that is literally the dream. I'm literally helping people leave Northern Virginia because they want to live by the water. I'm telling them, why do you have to leave? Just move to Potomac Shores. But Potomac Shores, it is a massive project. It's not even close to being complete. But when it's all done, it's gonna feature over 4,000 homes, town center, a VRE train station. I'll take you straight to DC in under 40 minutes, K through 12 schools, a luxury hotel, and so much more. So even though Potomac Shores is many years away from being complete, currently it is still absolutely stunning. When I was flying the drone around for this video, I was in awe and I was thinking to myself, if I was ever to leave Loudoun County, Potomac Shores would be high on my list of places I would personally move to. Next on the list is the location. So Potomac Shores is gonna be located in Prince William County. It's gonna be right next to Dumfries and Woodbridge. And Potomac Shores is gonna be about 32 driving miles away from Reagan National Airport. Potomac Shores is gonna be about 35 driving miles away from Washington, D.C. So right now, if you wanna live in Potomac Shores and you have to work in D.C., it's gonna be a brutal drive. You have to go up 95 and you're looking at 90 minutes easily each way to get to and from work. However, we're going to talk about it later on in the video. Once the VRE train station opens, that's going to cut that commute time in half. Now, there's currently no town center in Potomac Shores. However, Potomac Shores is only 6.4 miles away from Stonebridge Potomac Town Center. And this is a fantastic town center, probably one of the best in Northern Virginia. Everything you need is there. Ton of great restaurants, ton of shopping, your Wegmans grocery store, and so much more. But hands down, the best part about the location of Potomac Shores, it's right on the Potomac River. And don't take my word for it, let's ask Baby Mila right now. Baby Mila, what's the best part about living in Potomac Shores? She says, without question, it's living on the Potomac River. It is so great living on the water. It, first of all, it's so peaceful and calm. It just really makes you feel really good. And then there's a lot of boaters on the Potomac River. If you're not gonna personally get a boat, get a friend who has a boat. Uh, one of my best friends, Jason, he has a boat. And we spend many summer afternoons on the Potomac River. Literally, it's almost like going on a vacation, but it's right in your backyard. So there currently is not a marina in Potomac Shores. They do have a plan for one in the future, but the closest marina is about 15 minutes away. So if you're a boat enthusiast, you're gonna absolutely love living in Potomac Shores. Now, as much as I love making YouTube videos about living right here in Northern Virginia, what I love even more is helping folks just like you relocate to Northern Virginia. So if you're even thinking about moving to the area, reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Whatever you gotta do to get a hold of me, just know I got your back when you're moving to Northern Virginia. Now, the next thing that you must know about living in Potomac Shores, Virginia, and that's gonna be the homes. So you got four style of homes in Potomac Shores right now. First, you're gonna have the two level townhouse style condo. It's gonna be a great price point and fantastic for first time home buyers. Then you're gonna have the luxury townhouse with my favorite feature, the rooftop terrace. And then you're gonna have these beautiful stylish villas. What these are, they're almost like attached single family homes and they really have that single family feel. And then you have these stunning luxury single family homes. 
So you have four major builders building all these homes in Potomac Shores with Dries Homes, Pulte Homes, Ryan Homes, and Stanley Martin Homes. The homes are absolutely breathtaking. I just love the style. I love how the color just pops. You're literally gonna fall in love when you see these homes in person. Now the best part about the homes in Potomac Shores, it is less expensive on average to buy a home in Potomac Shores compared to the Northern Virginia region as a whole. So, so far in 2023, the average sales price for a home in Potomac Shores comes out to $684,000. Now let's compare that to Northern Virginia as a whole. That number is $732,000. That number literally keeps going up every time I do a new video, by the way. So it's literally $48,000 less expensive to buy a home in Potomac Shores compared to Northern Virginia as a whole. Now let's look at single family homes in Potomac Shores. The average sales price so far this year is $853,000. Now let's compare that to Northern Virginia as a whole. That number comes out to $952,000 for a single family home. So it is almost $100,000 less expensive to buy a single family home in Potomac Shores compared to the rest of Northern Virginia. Now this I can say, this will not be the case in about five years. When this community is close to being done, or even especially when it's complete, it will definitely be more expensive to buy a home in Potomac Shores compared to the rest of Northern Virginia. So this community has so much value and so much potential for growth. In fact, buying a home in Potomac Shores today is literally like buying Apple stock back in like 2015 or 2016, right before the stock had hockey stick growth. Now the starting price for a townhouse right now is about $590,000. Now that doesn't take into account all the options you're gonna pick, so it will definitely get into the sixes. And then the starting price point for a single family home is about $750,000. Again, once you add options and lot fees, you're probably gonna be in the low 800,000s. Next on the list is gonna be the resort style amenities that are currently available in Potomac Shores. First, you have the Shores Club, which is gonna be a social and recreation center featuring the fitness barn and the social barn. So the fitness barn is gonna feature a modern gym, movement studio, yoga lawn, kids club, eight lane competition pool, and the basketball court. Now the social barn is kind of a place to hang out with your friends and family. They have a living room, demonstration kitchen, family pool with a sun deck, cabanas, a kids pool with a snack bar. They even have an outdoor community garden. The Shores Club, hands down, is probably one of the best community centers I've seen in any neighborhood. In fact, I was this close to sneaking in and just relaxing by the pool all day and just forgetting all about this video. I'm just kidding. Nothing is going to distract me from making new YouTube videos. Next, Potomac Shores has 850 acres of open space, which features hiking and biking trails. If you love to just go for a walk and just feel the nature, you're going to absolutely love this part about living in Potomac Shores. Next, we have the 30-acre sports complex, which has soccer fields and baseball fields and playgrounds for the kiddos. Then you have the canoe club. Obviously, you live in the water, so you want to utilize the water. So the canoe club is like a launching point for your kayaks, paddle boards, and you can go fishing there. So it's super convenient having an access point to the water right in your backyard. And then Potomac Shores features a, an 18-hole Jack Nicholas championship level golf course. And according to Golf Digest, it's one of the top 10 newest golf courses in the whole country. So besides the 18-hole golf course, you also have an 8,000 square foot clubhouse which features the pro shop and you have a full service restaurant. So you can play around a golf, walk to the restaurant, have a beautiful steak dinner with a great glass of wine, and then walk home and call it a day. So the Potomac Shores Golf Club, you can either pay by the round or you can become a member and play year round. So all of these features are ready here right now in Potomac Shores. But now let's talk about what's coming in the future to Potomac Shores. So in the heart of Potomac Shores, overlooking the Potomac River is going to be a future town center, which is going to be known as the Marketplace. So this future town center is going to have shopping, dining, entertainment, plans for a luxury hotel. Basically, it's all going to be geared towards waterfront entertainment. I think a good comp for what Potomac Shores Town Center will end up being is probably going to be Old Town Alexandria. If you don't know, Old Town Alexandria is right on the water, Potomac River as well. as a ton of great restaurants and bars, and it's probably going to have a very similar feel to what Potomac Shores will end up becoming. Then you have the future VRE train station. So if you do have to work in DC and live in Potomac Shores, well, guess what? When the train station opens, it'll be less than 40 minutes to take the train in your backyard straight to DC. It's gonna make commuting so much easier. It's gonna be a big time game changer for this community once the station opens. And then to tie it all in for the boat enthusiast is the planned future marina. Because of course you need a place to dock your future boat. 
I'm just kidding. Not your future boat, your neighbor slash friend's future boat, because it's always better to have a friend with a boat than actually owning a boat yourself. Now you're gonna have a marina, you're gonna have a town center, you have the train station, you have golf course community, beautiful homes, waterfront entertainment. There's no doubt in my head, in five to 10 years from now, Potomac Shores may be the most sought after community in all of Virginia. So if you're even thinking about moving to Potomac Shores or anywhere else in Northern Virginia, reach out to me. You know I got your back. And if you want to continue your research on what it's like to live right here in Northern Virginia, check out these videos right here. And I'll see you on the next video.